Hello, my awesome and amazing Pisces. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective love reading. Love messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? Well, we're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Piscean viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Of course, rolling the dice. See what I need to shuffle the deck to. Got the power of number five. Power of number five again. And a power of number seven. Okay, looks like we're going to the number 17. 17 in tarot is the star card. This person, for some of you Pisces, wants to reconcile with you or they see you above them, Pisces. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. For others of you, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. And some of you could also be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. Some of you were born in 1951, 1955, and or 1957 for my more, more mature audience. Others of you, you could have been born in 1971, 1975, and or possibly 1977. But either way, going to the power of number 17 for the beautiful star sign of Pisces. Love messages from your person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Trusted ancestors of my Piscean viewers and subscribers. <sighs> What is the overall general collective love message, please, from Pisces person unto them? Show me what's up. Ah, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. You know, it's kind of hard not to hear Madonna's song, Open Your Heart to Me. Open your heart to me, baby. Uh, I hold the lock and you hold the key. Yeah, you know, I feel that this person, Pisces, is holding on to somebody from their past. This person that you could be dealing with could have been married or is still married. They could be in separation. There could also be a potential divorce that's in the works. This person, I feel, does want to love you. But there's a reservation that's going on. There's a withholding energy in my eyes and in like my mind's eye. I'm seeing the four of pentacles. So withholding. And because this person, Pisces, has been withholding their feelings from you, I mean, you may view them as being, you know, ultimately selfish. Okay. Um it's also safe for you to love. And maybe, you know, it took you some time to open your heart up to this person. Now your emotions are probably enmeshed in this person's energy, but they're still not quite giving you what you want right now. Mm-hmm. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. A couple variable messages going on. A lot of you just feel like you just want to give up on this person. Because you don't see anything happening in the 3D reality. In your 5D awareness, consciousness, you can see being with this person 24-7. But the fact that they're not consistent in their communication, that is the major issue that's going on here. 
So it's making it an unrequited love. However, they're in a situation as well that I'm picking up on with a third party that has become unrequited, but it feels to me, Pisces, that this person in that particular situation, they're just not entirely ready to let go of that third party for some of them. They're holding too much of the past within them. Which is almost like there's a control issue. There's a control issue that's going on. It's an undercurrent. We're going to go into uh, the Hidden Truth Oracle. I don't react when people mention you. You know, if the two of you were dating for a long time, you know, you had this connection and people saw you always going out and about with each other. And, you know, if they're hanging out at the bars or they're hanging out at restaurants or wherever it is that they choose to socialize, you know, there could even be friends or family members that are picking up on the vibe of you and asking your person, hey, what's going on with Pisces, blah, blah, blah. You know, um, a lot of them, in truth, are blowing off basically your energy like, oh, you know, we're, we're done. We've been done. We've been done. We've been over with for a long time, Pisces and I, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's like for some of them, they're like that. Because they don't want to tap into that vulnerability. They don't want to let these other people know how you made an impact on their life or how you, in truth, make them really feel. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson Doom, doom, doom. Looks like somebody's going to get their karma. Mm-hmm. Or they're learning their karma right now. You know, taking the heat, taking the heat of the karma. The spiritual lesson, the spiritual lesson is that they shouldn't have walked away from you. The moment they walked away from you, Pisces, that is when the karma started. Yeah, this person was very much in and out, Pisces, Knight of Wands. They could also travel for work or they could be at a great distance from you. Some of you were dealing with fire signs, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And for others of you, Pisces, this could have been a friends with benefits situation, hoping and thinking that maybe this was going to come into like full fruition. Um, yeah, they're still inconsistent. They're very wishy-washy. They're in and out. Knight of Wands. Yeah. But they still have attraction for you. Oh, see, the king should be above the knight. It's like this person took a step back. They came, they came in the first time out towards you, Pisces, as a king or a queen or an emperor or an empress. But it's like they took a down step. They know they need to take some kind of action, but I just feel like they don't know. <sighs> they don't know what to do. And I also heard the term, this person is like putty in your hands, or you feel like you are putty in their hands. I feel, Pisces, that this person knows how to trigger you or trigger your senses or your sexual energy towards them. There's a star card, power of number 17. I'm telling you, they want this reconciliation. They just don't know how to go about doing it. They're not strategizing appropriately.
you know, this person could be heavily reminiscent of like, you know, depending on your physical intimacy with this person, they could have, you know, uh, taken showers with you, taken a bath with you, you know, they're thinking on a very sexual level. Okay. And what I want to see from a person, and I'm not saying that sexuality is bad. It's just, when it comes to a healthy, committed partnership, I want to see more of the commitment cards. This person is fantasizing about you. They're fantasizing about you. But it's like they don't feel safe to fully love you because they don't know how to love themselves, Pisces. They don't know how to love themselves. Yeah, because they were juggling. They were juggling you and somebody else, two of pentacles. Others of you are dealing with um, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. They walked away from you. They left you high and dry. Some of you guys, uh, you female Pisces, they left you pregnant. This is heavy. Like you gave of your body, your mind, your heart, your soul, your spirit. Both of you, masculine Pisces and female Pisces. You gave a lot to this person. Now there's somebody seeking advice or counsel or you've been trying to figure out advice or counsel from somebody. Like what you should do about this person. But I feel Pisces that you could just be swimming in circles right now. Just not knowing which way is the flow of the current. Let this person go off and learn their lesson. They took you for granted. They obviously took you for granted. They couldn't see the power. They were on the path of resistance, not least resistance. If this person would just let go of the past, let go of this third party, this person may start to get more of that mental clarity and insight because I'm seeing the king of swords in my mind's eye. Some of you guys are dealing with air signs, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Let them go get their karma, okay? With a capital K. Let them get their karma because... It's like they want you and they don't know if they want you. They want you and they don't know if you, they want you because they're juggling this thought process. It's like they know how you make them feel, Pisces, but they're not bringing you the substance that you need. They're not doing it at this time. This doesn't mean that you're a bad person or that you're not likable or that you're not lovable, Pisces. Don't start playing that old recording in your mind again. That you're not good enough. You got to put a kibosh. Put a kibosh on that. This person outside of you, they're not going to find anybody better. They're not. They're just not. So rest assured within yourself, Pisces, that everything that you did, you did full, wholeheartedly. Okay? Because in truth, you did not skip a beat with this person. My awesome and amazing Pisces, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. I am running a May reading special, six questions. For $50, the average recorded time frame reading runs about an hour to an hour and a half. So if you would like to get on my recording schedule for May of 2024, email me again at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and Victoria will definitely uh, get you on my schedule for the week. And if you like this content, Pisces, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.